In this video, we'll be looking at the HP Victus versus the Asus Tough A15. Two mid-range budget laptops from about $1,300 to $1,500 price point, depending on how you get them configured. And if you wanna check the live pricing, I'll put links in the description below. But they're both plastic builds outside of the Asus Tough A15 coming with an aluminum top cover and that embossed logo on the top, which is pretty fancy, pretty nice looking. They both have medium size track pads, a nice keyboard deck, and overall they have good build quality. They're not great, not the best built laptops, but for nice, high performance, affordable laptops, they will do the job in regards to build quality. Now let's jump right into the performance section of this video because that's what you may be interested in the most. Now do note that the HP Victus that I am testing has the i5 12500H, 16 gigs of RAM, the RTX 3060 GPU, and a one terabyte SSD. The Asus Tough A15 comes with the Ryzen 7 h the RTX 3060 and 16 gigs of RAM as well as a one terabyte SSD. In regards to 3D modeling, it really depends on which software you'll be using, whether it be the Asus Tough pulling up and being better on the charts or the HP Victus being better on the charts really just depends on the specific application of your choice. Make sure you subscribe right now. Go ahead, take the two seconds to click that subscribe button. We're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas and you could make that happen. Thank you so much if you would just take that little effort, do that and make some dreams come true here and help us reach 100,000 subscribers. So be amazing. Now they both kind of go hand in hand with After Effects and Photoshop, but I will say that the Asus Tough A15 does edge it out a little bit there as well, but it's not a substantial enough difference to say, hey, definitely choose one over the other. So if you're a 3D modeler, your pick will lean you towards the Asus Tough A15. However, if you're a video editor, I would consider looking at the HP Victus. You're gonna have better export times from the Intel processor, as you can see on the benchmark charts right now. Now, if you're considering 6K, however, you're gonna have better export times out of the Asus Tough A15. But for 4K, the HP Victus is going to win out. Now, in regards to playback, again, if you're gonna be getting into 6K video editing, you're you're gonna have better playback on the Asus Tough A15 compared to the HP Victus. They both do zero drop frames for 4K. However, the Asus Tough A15 is gonna perform slightly better for 6K video editing. Now, what about for thermal temperatures? And that's one area that the HP Victus really stands out with. You're gonna have nice, cool thermal temperatures while video editing. You're not gonna see above the 78 degrees Celsius range on the HP Victus, whereas on the Asus Tough A15, we're up to 95 degrees Celsius for that laptop. So if you want a cooler laptop, I would lean you towards the HP Victus. Now, in regards to the noise, the HP Victus will also be better. It tops out at about 48 decibels of fan noise, whereas the Asus Tough A15 is 55 decibels of fan noise. So if you're gonna go for 3D modeling and 6K video editing, I would lean you towards the Asus Tough A15. However, if you're a 4K video editor and you're not gonna do any 3D modeling, maybe use Photoshop and After Effects a little bit, the HP Victus will be a great pick. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, subs if you don't wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.